AW Collision commentator Kevin Kelly has reportedly been fired by All Elite Wrestling following an outburst on social media accusing a colleague of libel. Plenty of details in that. Plus, Kenny Omega has revealed he recently was forced to once again undergo emergency treatment as he battles diverticulitis. A state government possibly has accidentally revealed the location for next year's WrestleMania 41 event. Plus, Matt Hardy gives an update on his AW contract, which is set to expire this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's start off with this developing news when it comes to the future in All Elite Wrestling of Kevin Kelly, someone who has been involved with AEW Collision since it launched last year, providing commentary for the show on TNT. Now, this is a big developing story coming from PW Torch, who say that Kevin Kelly, who was part of the AEW Collision commentary team since the launch of the show last summer, has been fired by All Elite Wrestling, according to PW Torch sources. Now, Kelly was removed from AEW's roster page yesterday. AEW actually taped an episode of Collision last night, and Fightful had reported that the announced team for Collision was Tony Schiavone and Nigel McGuinness, with Kelly nowhere to be seen during the taping. Now, Kelly's post on social media last weekend reportedly cost him his job, according to PW Torch sources. Kelly had gained a lot of attention on social media when he went to X last weekend and accused Ring of Honor announcer Ian Riccoboni of sabotaging his career and libel. He said, quote, when you go out of your way to intentionally mischaracterize my raising awareness of the global horrors of child trafficking to a fringe conspiracy theory that everyone knows is bullshit in order to hurt my career and standing in the industry, that at the very least is libelous, end quote, wrote Kelly on X last weekend. Kelly had also posted about his dissatisfaction with how he was being used in AEW. He said, quote, but the idea of what I bring to the table is lost there because Ian libeled me, wrote Kelly. So I sit on the bench, valued by my peers, waiting to get my number called, keep asking why, but get pushed aside. It's okay, because there is no one better than me. Ask the ones that know, and they'll tell you, end quote. Now, Kelly, according to some, got off to a rough start as the host of Collision, coming across as not being familiar with the product, names of signature moves, and the history of wrestlers and ongoing feuds. Of course, he had a strong reputation from his calling of the English broadcast of some of New Japan Pro Wrestling's best events during a peak period for the company, which endeared him to much of the AEW fan base, but that goodwill went away quickly. Now, according to PW Torch, Kelly actually finished last in their poll last year, asking readers who the best announcer in AEW was. He finished with 9% of the vote. Excalibur finished first, followed by Taz, who received twice the votes that Kelly received. Now, Kelly's performances were seen as subpar within AEW, including Tony Khan, apparently, since Tony Schiavone was called to take over the lead play-by-play -play for the role just a few months into Collision's run on TNT. So, what are your thoughts on this story that Kevin Kevin Kelly has been fired by All Elite Wrestling. What do you think is going to happen when it comes to his future in professional wrestling and broadcasting? Do you think he'll speak out about this? Do you think, like some other people that have been fired, there have been NDA signed or non-disclosure agreements or things of that nature? And what was your perception? What were your thoughts on his announcing on Collision? Was it up to scratch? Was it subpar? Let me know your thoughts about this, your reaction to it all in the comment section below. Now, some had been hoping, after he was referenced on AEW Dynamite this week, that Kenny Omega would be on his way back to AEW programming soon, but that looks like that may not be the case, because Kenny Omega has provided an update on his health amid his indefinite AEW hiatus, explaining why he doesn't know his timetable for returning to the ring. Omega took to social media to share a photo of himself in a hospital bed on December 15, 2023, noting that he'd been out of action indefinitely. It was later confirmed that Omega had been suffering from diverticulitis. During a Twitch stream uh, with Alex Jabaley, Omega noted that he had another emergency treatment following his initial hospitalization. Noting that it has been touch and go, he said, quote, It's been really touch and go, and I was feeling great for, I would say, like a week or two. So for two weeks, I was doing great. Then I ran into a little bit of a roadblock and had to get some emergency treatment again. Omega then noted that he's still unsure whether or not he'll need surgery to recover 
recover from his diverticulitis, meaning that his timeline for an in-ring return is still unclear. He explained, quote, because I understand how I feel physically, and I've been through the ringer in terms of injuries and getting banged up and all that, I kind of now know when I feel like I can come back. This is the first time I've ever been put out with sickness and it's hard to know what's going on inside when you feel a little bit of pain, but you don't really understand the inner workings of what's going on. So I'd love to say, hey guys, I'm on track to coming back next week, next month or in half a year. I don't have that confidence this time. When they're explaining to me, I was 24 hours away from getting a terrible blood infection and possibly dying. This is like news to me. I've never heard of anything like that. I thought it was like just shrugging it off. I was close to dying. Like, are you kidding me? No. No way. The doctors are there to ensure my safety and kind of to educate me as to how important this stuff is. So I don't want to talk out my ass too much and just say, yeah, for sure, I'm going to be back. I'll be back at a certain day or a certain time because I don't know. Omega went on to note that he does real, uh, feel he has responsibility to actually return to the ring rather than retiring due to his condition. Noting that he wants to be back as his high standard following an AEW comeback, he said, quote, I will say one thing, that after watching Dynamite this past week, I'm kind of getting a feeling for the lay of the land. If I can come back, I feel like I have to. There are too many greats. I may never get an environment like that again. I don't know if I would call that fun. More of a responsibility. I've got a responsibility to mix it up with these guys that call themselves the best because I used to be that guy. I used to have that confidence. And now instead of being that guy with a chip on his shoulder, it's my job to be the old guard as that gatekeeper. You want to call yourself the best? Effing prove it, bitch. That's what I'm here for. Or that's what I will come back for. So I'm doing this weird balance of trying to balance the sickness and the pain, but also train and make sure things don't get too out of hand. If suddenly I'm healed and I'm cleared, I want to be back and be able to hop in. The bar is so high, I don't want to come back and be below the bar if I can. I'm just going to try and be the best I can. Of course, Kenny Omega was kicked out of the Elite by the Young Bucks on the March 6th episode of AEW Dynamite, firing him from the faction. Later on in the very same segment, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson welcome Omega's former rival Kazuchika Okada into the Elite. So what are your thoughts on Kenny Omega? And do you think we're going to one day get another Omega Okada match this time in an AEW ring? Now, this is an interesting story because maybe, just maybe, we have an update as to the future location of WrestleMania 41. Now, I know we haven't got to WrestleMania 40 just yet, but it's very interesting nevertheless. A state government has dropped a potential hint at the uh, WrestleMania 41 location in a recent meeting. A Minnesota state hearing may have just dropped a major hint that the rumored Minneapolis, Minnesota location for WrestleMania 41 has become a done deal. In a Minnesota House of Representatives hearing on March 6, House File 3931 regarding Minnesota sports and events grant funding was being discussed. Amid the conversation, though, a mysterious event that had not been announced but was described as being announced in the coming weeks. While the actual name of the event could not yet be announced, according to testimony, the financial impact of said event was quote, second only to the Super Bowl, end quote. According to WWE, WrestleMania 39, over two nights in Los Angeles, California in 2023, generated an estimated $215 million in revenue for the area. WrestleMania 40 is set for April 6 and 7 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, with an attached WWE fan event now branded as WWE World as an additional tourist attraction for the days before and after WrestleMania. So possibly, maybe, we're going to be getting that Minnesota... Uh, um, WrestleMania in Minneapolis. Uh, of course, once that does get officially announced or we get any more details on that, we'll let you know in a future video. Finally, Matt Hardy has provided a bit of an update on his AEW future amid reports that his contract is set to expire. It was previously reported that Matt Hardy's AEW contract will be up this month following Hardy joining All Elite Wrestling in March 2020. Speaking on his Extreme Life podcast, Hardy confirmed that his contract is set to expire in March, noting, quote, so as far as that goes with my contract, people had asked about my contract and obviously I've got messages after that news broke earlier today and it didn't come from me because no one had known anything about it so once again Sean Ross sat breaking the news yes it is coming up in March and we've spoken about it and we've talked about it and I guess we'll see what happens so we'll see if you listen to the podcast just give me your feedback tell me what you think I should do next 
Hardy went on to note that he will always support whichever promotion he's working for, comparing moving between promotions to athletes moving between sports teams. Commenting on his uncertain future, Hardy noted he does enjoy working for AEW, stating, quote, ever since I came to AEW, I spoke with the Bucks first. I've been close with the Bucks. I've just said that a minute ago, we've been great friends for a long time, and I've really enjoyed working with Tony Khan. He's legitimately a very, very good human being, so we will see. Business is business. Sometimes things change. You never know. I love AEW. I'm cool with staying with AEW. I really enjoy the locker room there. I enjoy being there. But if that's not what happens and that's not what happens, life goes on. So I'm good. Now, Matt has only competed in one match so far in 2024, though he did regularly compete in 2023. So what do you think is in the future for Matt Hardy? Let me know your thoughts about that as well. But there you go, guys. This is the latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.